What's that coming over the hill? Is it your mum? Is it your mum? Ah, comments in the morning. Let's have a look. Good morning, ladies, gents, and Pikachu. Uh, just a quick update today. Uh, I've been reading some comments about my uh, two things, mostly about the Starfield video, so we'll do that last. And then um, a good friend of mine had something rather odd to say about the Israel Palestine war. I speculated that they might be in an advantaged position now and within a week of a total victory. Um, and his response to this was to say, oh, we're going to be inundated with floods of Gazan migrants who are going to be looking for refugee status here. Uh, I don't know who's told you that. I, this is exactly why I said to you, mate. Just stop listening to social media. And people who spend their entire life on social media and have no real life experience, that's what it comes down to, no life experience people on social media, just ignore them. Let me tell you why. There ain't going to be any refugees coming out of Gaza. You know why? Because Israel don't want Gaza. They want to kill Hamas. They, they're not taking any land. As soon as Hamas are dead, they go home. And remember, they're only going to kill Hamas because Hamas have been shooting them and raping them and cutting the heads off babies and shooting rockets at them for the best part of 15 years. And after the, what they did on the 7th, I think, you know, it was high time they went in and slaughtered Hamas. I'm sorry, it just was. Like, if it was here, if Hamas were in France and they kept attacking England, you know, and someone you know got killed or raped, you would be absolutely over the moon if we sent the British army over there and fucking dealt with them. That's what Israel have done. It's in their borders, like Gaza is a piece of Israel they gave away to the Palestinians when they invaded Israel, you know, the Palestinians came from Jordanian before they got called Palestinians, they used to be called Jordanians, you know, genetically they're 100% Jordanian, the UN's own figures when they treated them with vaccines and stuff prove this, so we know they're not Palestinians, they're Jordanians, but fair enough, you want to live there, we'll give you your own country, what do you want to call it, Palestine fucking worst name you could have chosen a hebrew word that means we hate arts and culture but fine palestine you have palestine that's your little thing build a little wall around it so you can't shoot directly at our houses um and you're just going to be shooting over the top and we've got our iron dome so none of that's going to affect us but obviously when you parachute guys in the iron dome isn't going to shoot parachute guys down so they land they slaughter people they shoot people they rape people they cut the heads off babies they take hostages and they go back to Gaza and they hide in these hospitals and they continually fire rockets from these hospitals. So I don't know about you, but if I was Israeli or if I was Benjamin Netanyahu, that's exactly what I would have done. They waited 11 days. They said, get all your civilians out. Here's a nice straight empty road with UN guarding it. So it's not even us guarding it. It's the UN who are going to make sure the ceasefire is upheld. Here's the straight road. There's the hospital. Send all your civilians along here and then we'll just come and fight you guys like, you know, man to man. Surely that's what you want, Hamas. No, that's not what Hamas want. They actually put the civilians as a human shield and they don't let them leave. So the only reason there's any civilians there at all is because Hamas are using them as a riot shield. And obviously after Hamas are all dead, what do you think happens to all those Palestinian slave wives and all the children? Do you think Israel wants to... No, Israel wants nothing to do with them. Just go back home, guys. Now that Hamas are dead, go back home. Do what you're going to do. That's what's happening here. So there won't be any refugees. There's not going to be like millions of Palestinians trying to move here. And even if they were, they've got no reason to come here. They can't, they can't claim refugee status because there's no invasion on their country. In fact, Israel's paying them in, um, you know, giving them fresh water, giving them electricity, giving them farming land, offering to train them so they know what to do and taking people on not as refugees, but as actual migrants to the country. For instance, the LGBT people, for instance, people who converted to Christianity. So it isn't our problem at all. And what I would say to you is, I would suggest you delete and block those people that are telling you that. Not because they think that, but clearly they're just parroting the social media narrative which is completely wrong. Um, so that's the end of that. Going back to the Starfield thing, kind of seems a little bit trivial after we've just spoken about global terrorism war and everything else. But yeah, the, the Starfield thing, after reading some of the grumpy comments that I got, I haven't, really, I haven't bothered to reply to anyone. I just delete the ones that are full of swearing and don't make sense. But it occurred to me, there's two groups of people, right, who are playing Starfield. Your 11-year-old kid, whose parents got it on Game Pass, 
and the 67 year old dad of the 11 year old kid that's the two groups primarily who are playing starfield at the moment everyone else is either bored with it or they've moved on or you know they're just not that interested in it as you can see you can literally look at the steam figures for the amount of hours someone's playing a game or you know the general success rate of a game and it just seems like the user base is doing this but i don't say this because i don't like the game I'm not that kind of guy. I, I like all Bethesda games. I own every single Bethesda game apart from Starfield because I refunded it. But I even said in my video, I think this is an AI generated game and such as it is, it's going to be iterated on and it's going to get better and better over time. So I don't mind the fact that I refunded it now. It still sucks now. I still don't like it now, but it's going to be good in a year. So that's why I said I'm quite happy to not you know, to, to not play it for a year and buy it in a year when it's good. So I don't see what the problem with that is. Just, um, I think the problem is with some of these Starfield fans is they feel like, because their life has nothing else in it apart from Starfield, playing Starfield is like 100% of what they do. If you have a criticism of Starfield, it's like you criticize 100% of their life. Guys, I, I never met any of you. I don't know any of you. And I don't particularly care what your opinion is on me, or my content really. All I will say is this, if you want comments to survive me when I'm moderating, don't fill them up with swearing, you can get away with one or two non-personal swear words, you know. You can say our oh, life's a bitch, fine. But if you say your mum's a fucking bitch, not fine. You get me? So try and clean up your comments and then they will survive my moderation. Alternatively, get a life and then you won't be so offended when I say something fair, you know, something that's critically fair about Starfield, such as the dialogue is terrible and boring and the characters are really poorly written and they're not relatable in the slightest. Or that the NASA Punk 3D assets are completely plain and vanilla looking and they're basically ripped off from real technology and there's no creativity there at all. Things like that are true. I'm not saying them <laughs> to make you feel bad. I couldn't care less about you. I don't even know you, like I said. I'm saying them because they're true. And I'm critically analyzing the game in expectation that it's gonna improve. Because if you'd have watched the rest of that video, you would have seen that I actually said the AI generative tool that they're using to build Starfield is also reading the transcripts of reviews, right? So it would have read the transcript of my review and it would have seen all the things I said about the other reviews. So what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna solve the problems I highlighted in my review. However, your shitty, rude, stupid comment, which got deleted after two minutes because it immediately kicked off with a rude, sweary rant towards me, clearly you hadn't watched my video, isn't gonna have any effect on the development of Starfield. And neither are you, if you just sit around playing it and doing nothing else, what can you add? If you're critically analysing, if you're trying to add to the pool of creativity that 100% of your life is playing this one game, you're no better than the AI. You're not going to be able to come out with the creative ideas. You're not going to have that originality. You're just going to be rehashing other people's tired ideas. Uh, which is boring. Please don't do that. Or if you do, do it elsewhere. <laughs> So anyway, I think in conclusion, um, Israel looked like they're going to beat Hamas, but they're not going to be invading Gaza. They're going to give Gaza back to the Palestinian Authority, as long as they're not giving it back to Hamas. They were just going to use it as a weapon and a slave, you know, a place to, to put Chinese weaker slaves. Um, so yeah, I hope that cleared up some misconceptions about Israel and the um, non-existent not refugee crisis, which isn't going to happen. And also my feelings on the game of Starfield. It's got potential, like I said, it's going to be good in a year, but currently it sucks. Sorry, I don't like it. I would prefer to play any other game but Starfield right now. It's more fun to analyse and predict, for me, what Starfield is going to do in the future, rather than obsess over what it's already doing now. I mean, we know there's a million reviews out there. If you want to go and bitch about the current state of Starfield, feel free to go over there and do it there. This is not that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. I swear these things will kill me slower than your bullshit in my comment section. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Two very different problems, one very good solution. Um, do the thinking for yourself, don't follow the narrative and get off social media and you'll be a lot happier and so will I. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.